late Friday afternoon and this is uh, Preston in Lancashire this is a job I've done a few videos on already so this is the boiler room I'm going to take you around the house in a bit and run you through a few extra bits and bobs in there so pretty much already covered this but we've got the two Viesman boiler boilers into a low loss header there's a temporary pump, we're just trying to work out the size of the pump for the house at the moment. We've only just got the drawings for the underfloor. And um, I expect there'll be some kind of mahoosif pump in there for it later. Uh, the load for the house is only 18 kilowatts, but the problem is the, um, the isolated nature of the boiler room. So there's a gas meter up there and we've got a gas supply ready to go into the house. I'll show you the other half of that. So it's going down, there's two 50mm pre-insulated pipes running across the other side for our flow and return. From the 500 litre of Eastman cylinder, we have the hot split down there into two 50mm to go across to the house. This is just all about reducing the potential pressure loss in the pipes. These are water supplies, one to the house kitchen and one to the gym down the bottom of the garden and the main incoming water supply is just around the corner there. So it runs through the boiler room for a short way before it disappears back under. Um, we've got reverse and returns ready so a second 500 litre cylinder can be slotted in here so that the uh, three people that are going to live here don't run out of hot water. Yes I did say three people. It's a five bedroom house and they thought they needed a thousand litres. I've persuaded them to go for 500. And I think that's going to be enough, but just in case we've got all the plumbing prepared for a second 500 litre cylinder to go in. Uh, I can't remember how many litres this is, um, it's a lot. So it's 3,000 litres, I think, from memory. Twin stage booster pump. And the idea of this is it should be able to deliver 120 litres a minute into the house at four bar pressure, I think. So this is actually. Uh, a friend of the customer that's done a lot of the background design work here in the specification um, and um, the idea is that they can have five bathrooms running simultaneously and never run out of hot water so they've got uh, 64 kilowatts going into the hot water cylinder and uh, the backup water supply and the booster pump so the variable speed so um, if you don't know about these They'll look at the pressure going out and as the flow increases down line there'll be a pressure drop near the pump so the pump will increase its operation speed to try and maintain a constant pressure on the output of those those units there. Very clever. Um, the idea is that if someone turns an extra tap on in the house there shouldn't really be a very noticeable change to flow. So this is the house itself. It's uh, 600 square metres and it's going to be all underfloor heating five bathrooms quite palatial um, and if we wander inside here we have what is this so a lot of pipes okay so let's try and explain what's going on here we have heating and flow and return remember this is 18 kilowatts so uh, i think this is coming in in 42 millimeter so it's 50 mil 42 goes down to i think it's 35 out of there that's right got pressure and temperature gauges there so we can see our delta t's in the house and up here goes to 28 mil that feeds three manifolds and the other 20 Eight, that goes to 28 mil over there that goes off to one manifold at the other end of the house and here we've got the two hot water supplies and this is going into a little bit of a header low loss header here and back to the house now that bronze pump is running so there's a continual circulation of water going through here and that's running pretty much 24 hours a day from a single small bronze pump and it's adequate we're getting next to zero delta t across these two pipes then what we have here is we have a distribution branch so we've got uh, two 35 mil supplies going off to the bathrooms there's three bathrooms on one two on the other and these are doing basins 
The reason they're doing basins, we're going to have PIRs on this. And there's so much water in this system, it's going to take around about two or three minutes for that water to cycle. So when the bronze pumps come on, uh, there's a big wait for hot water. That's acceptable on the showers, but it's not going to be acceptable on the basin. So the idea of these basins is there's about a minute to circulate the water through those 22 mils. And they're coming back to these four pumps here. These aren't identical. They're different duties of these pumps. And I've actually gotten around the wrong way at the moment. I've... Uh, having a bit of a blind moment and I've put the more powerful pumps on the bigger pipes and actually it's the other way around the more powerful pumps have got um, got to work on the smaller pipes because there's a bigger pressure loss in the smaller pipes and uh, yeah forgive the wine this is just temporarily put together to get this what gets up and running so PIR system if you go into the bathroom um, the shower pump will operate if you go into the bedroom the basin um, pump will operate um, so the movement detectors, if you're asleep, it won't be running the pump. And the idea of that is you can go in the bathroom, run in for a quick pee, and you'll have hot water at the basin. And um, only when you go in the, the bathroom will the bronze pump for the showers run. So yes, it will operate when you go in for a pee. Um, and there will be some resulting wasted energy. This will all be insulated. So... I don't have a better way of controlling it. If you've got any ideas and could offer me some uh, tips to improve that, I'd be more than happy to, to receive the comments. So, okay. So then the house is split into two sections. I think I've covered everything in here. That's the cold water supply coming in there, 50 mil breaking off. So most of these pipe sizes are about pressure loss. We don't want the pressure loss in the system. Um, so, right, okay, so here we have the left wing of the house. This is a nice side. The left wing is always a nice side, apparently. And we go off here. So we've got two little tee-offs there. This is going down to an underfloor heating manifold here. And up there, if you can see on the pipes in there, they're going to an underfloor heating manifold just up in the room above. And these pipes follow around. In here will be uh, I think this is utility. No, so downstairs loo, that's right. So we've got a, a hot and a cold water take off here to come down. And then, God, did that make you dizzy? So, right. Let's go. So coming across here. Now this is going to be what they call the spice kitchen. This is a kitchen where they actually do the, do the real cooking. And uh, there's going to be, in fact, there's a pantry, pantry going in here so there's another wall to go in then there'll be the sink down here so we've got the hot water supply for the sink here and we've got the cold water coming in over there so now in here we're going to have a formal kitchen so the hot water for the formal kitchen comes off of that little tab at the back I don't know if you can see that and the cold water will come from the blue poly that will come across under the insulation for the underfloor and come up in a sink unit which I believe is going here then it runs off, everything runs off down here. <coughs> Let's have a wander around. So this is a cinema room here. And we're going to have a bathroom above here. So it's a master ensuite bathroom just above here. So we've got our link overs here for our secondary circulation. And at the end here we've got... Uh, uh, supply so it's cold is the last one at the back here that's the cold then we've got the hot for the showers and this will be the hot for the basins that'll get reduced down to 15 uh, there to go to the basins so that's that side so the underfloor should be going in in a month or so in here and then I've got to come back and commission everything for that but this is already for that to go in and they're having a bathroom fitter come in to do all the bathrooms. Ah, I've got a bit of myself. Right, okay, so from the original room, they're coming in through this bit here. This is actually going to be the prayer room and going off here. And then across there, we've got two supplies going into this room. This is, uh, I don't know, kind of shower room to wash and shower before you come in to do your prayers. Um, and then they go off 
through here, which is, what is this room? This is a room I don't know. And up here we've got takeoffs for the bathroom just above here. And so we've got, again, we've got the basin hot, uh, shower hot and shower cold. And then coming all across here, around here those two pipes coming across there are for the underfloor heating manifold which will be just up above there and then the other pipes are coming across here now there's two bathrooms back to back here so we've got this sorted off here and the secondary circulation links in so again we've got 15 mil for basins and then 22 cold and 22 for showers and that's the end of it that's that's a lot so it's been a nice big job I think I've done a total here of, I don't know, maybe five or six weeks work. Lost count now. But a nice project. So I've really enjoyed it. Really nice customers to work for. As I say, a friend of the customer has been overseeing it. He's been very involved with the design of this. And um, we've got, yeah, the spec of everything. It's just been one of those jobs where it doesn't matter about money it's just got to be right and um that's been quite enjoyable to have that kind of job to work on so all right well um i hope you've enjoyed that and uh in some way i hope it's helped